Hello everyone and thank you so much for coming to my channel as usual. Um, with deep remorse and regret. The Lord knows he lived a long time and he was very prosperous and he was just setting the airways on fire when it came to him doing that I like to call the duck walk with his guitar going across the stage. <laughs> I'm talking about none other than Chuck Berry, y'all. Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry, and rock and roll. I'm getting my information from CNN.com. Um, it says Chuck Berry didn't just cross barriers. He obliterated them, I meaning smashed it down. Okay, top bases. Well, like I said, with a sad heart, Chuck Berry died today at the age of 90. Um, and I'm just going to read a little commentary that uh, CNN had put together on him. So, I don't know, was he sick or anything of that nature? Uh, but like I said, he lived a fantastic life as far as getting from birth to the age that he lived. Now, I did know he went to jail uh, in his lifetime, and I don't know if he had a hard time growing up in the, I think he was born in the South, but let's read on what Gene Seymour had wrote about him. Uh, he's one of the CNN commentaries or reporters that did the piece on uh, Chuck Berry. Uh, he writes, uh, Chuck Berry influences can be heard in every guitarist who came after him. Barry remained an American original to the very end, Seymour writes. Editor's notes, Gene Seymour, just a little bit on him, is a film critic who has written about music, movies, and culture for the New York Times, Newsday, Entertainment Weekly, and the Washington Post. The opinions expressed in this commentary are his. Okay, CNN. Whatever else that can be said about Chuck Berry, Maybelline, when it shout out of America's radios like a red stone rocket in the bright late summer of 1955, one hard true thing remains clear. After those 62 years, nothing like it ever existed before. Here's why. There was no category that could safely contain it. It charted number one on the rhythm and blues chart, which was where, which was where most black recording artists such as Barry could be found. But its beat and its sensibility were just as deeply rooted in the predominantly white traditions of country, blues, and western swing. Though it was in the Jim Crow's area waning days for white artists to cover African American artists' hits like Maybelline, crossed so many barriers that it all but obliterated them, or anyway made them less imposing. How exactly could anybody cover this? It was too big to cover. Big enough, even its two minute and spare change length to contain multitudes. Embrace generations, swallow continents, and change the world. It was, in short, rock and roll. And Chuck Berry was his chief designer, its master engineer, and argue all you want, but the available evidence overwhelms one of its inventors, if not the inventor. Barry Death at 90 was announced Saturday. A rock and roll sounding big daddies raising the temperature of simmering static culture of the 1950s to full boil. Fast Domino, Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis, a comparably improbable survivor, now remains among the living. Probably is as good as a place as any to note that while touring with an early rock star review, Lewis was so incensed that Barry was chosen over him to close the show that he gave a climatic set, literally incendiary enough to end with him sitting his piano, setting his piano on fire. As Lewis stormed off, smelling of liquid, lighter fluid, he passed by Barry and snarled, sort of voice, top that, explosive deleted. And, and as Lewis reported, said later, he damn near did too. <laughs> I'm betting he did more than that because Barry in person was well into senior citizenship as compelling, as galvantic as Barry on record. Barry didn't need prior text to send his audience into the ozone, the duck wall. His 
inevitable stage move was more than enough. And I know that's right, because I was stripping off on that duck, walking, still playing that guitar as he was walking across the stage, okay? Well, that and his guitar. Rolling Stone magazine once declared that rock guitar began with Barry. And once again, it's not hard to make the case. Barry licks and riffs fluid, supple, and multi-tiered remain electrifying enough to empower wave upon wave of guitarists, seeking more blues in their rhythms and more rhythms. He was one of those artists who may have been singular when they broke through, but whose influence can be heard in every guitarist who followed. Start wherever you want. I'll take Keith Richards for 5000 Alex. <laughs> but the list of Barry's accolades that follow stretches through presidencies, wars, and recession. Presidentials, uh, wars, and recessions. Finally, there are other songs, especially those great 28 Barry recorded for Chess in 1950 and early 1960s. There was so much more than catchy slices of pop that tickled wherever your music Dopamine was buried. Roll over Beethoven. Well, roll over, then Beethoven, then back in the USA. Johnny Be Good, I remember that. You never can tell. I'm talking about you. School days, promised land, and on and on and every onward. These and many others convey adventure, adventure, mischief fun, and most of all, endless possibility in their titles alone. Those titles invited you in. The songs carried you as far as you wanted or dared to go. And you could hear every single lyric roar, spin, and take curves into your head, like Barry's fiery red Cadillac that you can now see in National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington. As much as the thing he invented, or at least helped invent, Chuck Berry delivered us from days of old, remaining an American original to the very end. The problem was originals is that they came like 45 RPM records in singles. Now, I do remember those. <laughs> the best the rest of us can do is use his contraptions to power our journeys to a static reckoning. Go. Alrighty then. So that was from CNN's um, reporter, Gene Seymour. He did a very good job covering him. Um, but I was trying to see on another... Uh, let me see what... Ooh, Chuck Berry dies at 8. Let's see what Fox News says about him. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Fox News says Chuck Berry, one of the all-time rock and roll greats, dead at, 50, at 90. Lord, I'm going to say 50. Okay. Rock and roll icon and musical master Chuck Berry Saturday. Wait a minute. Chuck Berry died Saturday at his home west of Street, Lu Louise, Lu St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, authorities confirmed he was 90. The guitars and music define the art of forms, joy, and rebellion in such classes as Johnny Be Good. I remember that one, Sweet Sixteen. I remember that one in Roll Over Beethoven. I do remember that one in a career that spanned seven decades and earned him countless accolades. It says emergency personnel summoned to Barry's residence by his caretaker about 12.40 p.m. found him unresponsive. Police in Missouri's St. Charles County said in a statement, attempts to revive Barry failed, and he was pronounced shortly uh, deceased before 1.30 p.m., police said. Hmm. There are no additional details about the death of Barry, calling him really a legend. So, maybe it was just a thing of old age, and uh, it was time for him to go be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Um, which like, you know, hey, when you, hey, when you get 70 and possibly 80s, that's a good route. <laughs> you know, I see that you definitely lived your lifespan here on earth. Um, he was a good voyager when it came to that guitar and walking across the stage like a little duck. I'm telling you, the man, you got to catch those clips of him. He was on point when he did that. I, I didn't really see how he could do it, really. But um, it is what it is. He was 
his real name is Charles Edward Anderson. Uh, I don't know where they get Chuck out of Charles, but I guess you could. Just like Bill out of William. Uh, Jimmy out of, what is it? Jimmy out of James. Um, he was an American guitar singer and songwriter. Uh, one of the pioneers of rock and roll music. We would miss him greatly. But um, he probably was ready to go home as well. Maybe he died in his sleep. Doesn't really give any um, insight to what really happened. They just said he was unresponsive. Even though that was the first one I did check in too. Um, let me see what NBC News says about him. Okay. Okay, same thing um, NBC is reporting, saying that um, caretaker had called the um, paramedics to come to aid um, Mr. Berry at his, local, his residence. Uh, he was uh, seen unconscious. Uh, the first responders were unsuccessfully unsuccessful in reviving him and you know pronounced him dead they give a, a one of 126 so nobody can really get that time fixed down it looks like so speculations innuendos we'll never know what is what but at the age of 90 you would think that he just more than likely died in his sleep bless his heart um i guess uh, I don't know if he has any family members left, but anybody that loved themselves from Chuck Berry, condolences to you all. Um, he would be sorely missed, very much so a pioneer when it came to rock and roll, uh, when they weren't giving too many accolades or recognition to black um, songwriters and uh, musicians and artists at the time. But he broke and shattered all the barriers, just like, you know, Everyone had said that I've gotten the news from. And then, you know, if you talk to your parents that was in that era, you know, rock and roll, yes, Chuck Berry was there. There, okay? Doing his thing. But anyway, that was my Celebrity Corner segment that I do on celebrities uh, that are definitely worthy of being spoke about. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Keep his family members in prayer if there are any left. Uh, maybe some distant uncles or cousins and something, but keep them in prayer as always. And um, again, when we definitely did our tour duty, which everybody's running this race of life, when we're called home or to exist in another plane of existence, you know, we leave people left behind that are definitely going to miss us. But we're all spirits, so keep that in mind when we're taken out of this body and put in another one, if you believe in re reincarnation, we live another life. So be blessed. Take care of one another. Be safe. And always let your loved ones know how much you care about them because tomorrow's not promised to us, guys. And a lot of people are just going too soon, you know, whether they're taking care of their health uh, and they, you know, go unexpectedly or where whether or not they're not doing right by their health and they're just eating everything they want to like you know auntie say i'm not saying she did but she did do a lot of um sweets um treats and fried foods and of course you know and plus what they ever doing to this food prior to we even getting it to our kitchen trying to cook it how however we choose to you know it's always like you have to pray over your food but I do believe in the creator. And when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Whether you're eating healthy or whether you're not eating healthy. You know, it's just one of those things. But, you know, Auntie Faye gone. A fee gone. Joe Berry gone. Um, my daughter was telling me about somebody else that died, too. And I was like, dog, all these artists this year. And we're not even halfway through the years just checking out on us. So uh, be well, be nice to yourself uh, as usual. Always be nice to yourself or you can't be nice to no one else. And take care of yourselves as much as you can. Try to de-stress as much as you can. And love your friends and family members endlessly. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.